what's up welcome back to my channel so the weather has been really bad out here in san diego today it was like pouring cats and dogs in the morning um so we don't have much planned for today so i thought i would film an updated everyday makeup routine the last time i had filmed an everyday makeup routine was when i first started my youtube channel which was like years ago it was like my first video ever if you guys go back and see that video it's like very bad quality but before we get into the video make sure you like comment and subscribe down below so for moisturizer i use this cetaphil ozzy's mom put me on to this it's amazing it's very creamy um it literally hydrates your face i have combo skin so like in the t-zone it's very oily and everywhere else it's dry so this thick ass moisturizer literally does me justice also um do not buy this from target girl when i went to target i think this container was about 20 to 22 dollars i went to costco you get a two pack for 19 dollars so go to costco get yourself a costco card so next i'm using this glow recipe the glow drops so i'm just gonna put that couple drops around my face I like to actually pat this in because it just makes it sticky so it kind of reminds me of a primer so the first thing that I do when doing my makeup is I do my brows first I'm actually gonna be using the elf brow lift I'm almost out of this as you can see this is actually my second pot and I like this product what I do is I just get my brush I just like move it around in there as you can see like it's basically empty i have to go buy another one i just like brush my brow up i like to just push it down just to make sure that it's gonna stay in place keep doing that throughout the whole brow i have very stubborn eyebrows so it can be tricky sometimes this is with the product on and this is my natural brow so you can definitely see a difference. I'm still not done with the brow, so don't get scared. I know I look like I just got electrocuted. Also, let's talk about this spatula combo thing that e.l.f. is selling. Within a week, week and a half, I don't know if you guys can see it, but my thing like fell apart. Do the same thing to the other brow. I just like line it over. If you guys see the lighting change, it's because the sun is like coming in and out, in and out. So, eyebrows are done. They're not perfect, but I like them. The next thing I like to go in with is foundation. So, I'm using the Mario one. And as you guys seen in like my birthday vlog, I was talking about how this foundation was too orange. At least the shade that I had before, they had given me 9W. Way too dark. So, because it was like way too dark for me, I changed it for the shade 8N. This shade is not a perfect match either, but it's a lot closer than what the other one was. I just do like a few pumps. Also, I did not wash any of my brushes for this video. When it comes to like around the brows, I like shape the top. I go with my beauty blender. I just like to spray it with um, some mist. After foundation, I like to conceal. I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. I used the other one last time in a different video. It was like the regular e.l.f. Concealer. That one was not good. It was very drying. I didn't know they had a hydrating one until recently, so that's what I'm using today. This is in the shade Light Sand. Is it my shade? I don't think so, but I'm gonna use it. I'm really bad at like color matching myself or like being able to tell like which shade is the best you know i went a little heavy with the concealer today but it's all good and then i take the wand and i just go under the brow i used to blend my concealers with the beauty blender um but now i do both i do the brush and the beauty blender so i'm gonna spray my brush with the same morphe spray i like to dab it on my hand a little bit if you have a big ass forehead like me try not to take the concealer out too far because then it's just gonna highlight your whole fucking forehead i finished the second part of you it was a shocker 
What did y'all think about it? When I watched the first part of the season, I wasn't crazy about it, to be honest. But uh, after I watched the second part of the show, I was like, damn. I was like, this is good. This is real good. But I like to take it on the side of the nose a bit. And then now I'm just gonna blend under the brow. Just be careful here. I always end up getting the concealer on the actual brow. I'm gonna get my beauty blender again and I'm gonna go over those concealed spots. So the reason I do this is so that my concealer is like super blended. I blend the under eye a little more. Both under eyes have powder under them and I don't bake. I just like lightly spread the powder. My under eyes have powder under them so they're already set but I didn't set any of the other concealed spots. So I'm gonna take this brush. It's a Real Techniques brush. Just dab it in the powder. And then I just go over all the other spots that I concealed. And then also don't forget the nose. I get really oily on the nose, so I just set the whole thing. So I'm gonna take the this It Cosmetics brush and then I'm going in with this NARS bronzer. This is in Laguna. Dab it a little bit. And I'm just gonna go in here, add some color. I like more of a bronze look where I look sun-kissed and tan. I'd be going crazy with bronzer. I think a bronzer is actually my favorite part of doing my makeup, to be honest with you guys. I'ma just dab it one time, literally one time. I'm doing my nose now. I don't know how to nose contour like the professionals. I know people like to use the small little brushes and just make it so precise and cute. I can't do that, girl, and I'd be in a rush. So I just go on the sides, boom. On the tip, like that. I take some translucent powder on a blending brush and I'll just put it up against the nose like this. So as you guys can see, I just put it on the sides. So yeah, that's what I do. After bronzing, I take more translucent powder and I put it under where I had just bronzed. I'm very messy with this and I'm not very precise. I just pat down the powder that's on the side of my nose. And when it comes to this powder right here, I just like kind of like sweep it. I just sweep it up. I try to sweep it to the point where there's like no harsh lines, but you can still tell that it's you know, cleaned up. If that makes sense. I don't know if it does. It's time for some blush. I'm gonna take this random blush brush that I have. I have the Tarte blush, and this is in the shade First Class. So I just go crazy with it. I just dab it on top of the bronzer, but I don't take it onto my forehead. The highest I take it is up to here. And I put some on my nose as well. I am fighting with this damn lighting right now. I'm gonna take this blending brush and my bronzer again, and I'm just gonna add some color onto my lid. It doesn't really matter how you put it on. I just wanted to make it seem like I have a little sum on my eye. When the eye is done, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other. And I'm gonna take my spray and I'm gonna spray my face. Sometimes I'll take my blender and I'll just like dab it, like lightly dab it. Make sure it's really like melted into your makeup so it lasts longer. Not for highlighter. Let's not talk about it, but I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill one. This is in Sparks. So when I add my highlighter, I like to use two different brushes. I use a smaller brush for under my brows and on my inner corner. And then I use this brush for my cheekbones. So first we're gonna go in with the smaller one. I love it on my upper lip, a little bit on my nose, the slightest amount on my nose though. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put on some mascara. So I used to be a lash girly. I don't know, I just haven't really been into lashes like that lately. 
This is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara. This is the waterproof one. I only use waterproof mascaras. I know some people hate them, but um, they last longer on me. I'm gonna do multiple layers. I personally don't have a favorite mascara. I just go for whatever I think would work best. I like to apply mascara on my lower lashes. I don't know how to get my mascara to last. Like to where it doesn't like bleed or like turn my eye gray now that that is done we're gonna just do the last step which is lips usually i like to do like a little combo lately i've been using uh this one lip combo it is the cold brew nyx lip liner along with the maybelline lifter gloss this is in the color moon so i've been using these together and it's a really nice combo, but today, since I'm not really going anywhere, I'm just going to throw on this Too Faced Maximum Plump Lip Gloss. So I just got this as a birthday gift for my friend Hannah. The day that she gave me this, I had just told her that I wanted lip fillers. Like I was thinking about going to TJ, getting lip fillers. And then I opened my gift and she put this in there and I was like, oh shit, great minds think alike. So yeah, I'm just going to throw this on. This lip gloss is pretty moisturizing. It just burns like a bitch. These are my lips before or the plumper. I don't know if it'll make a difference. I'm such a lip gloss girl, like, I have to do multiple layers. I just needed to get as shiny as I can. Lip gloss is on. This shit is burning though. Okay. What do we think? This is my go-to look. This is what I wear like on a regular day when I decide to wear makeup because I don't always wear makeup, especially at work. That concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.